Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kari and as you can see, I've taken you out into Paris with me again today. I thought we'd do another little day in my life in Paris vlog. The last one that I did, I had a lot of fun filming and editing that, so I thought that I would do another one. So yeah, basically we're just going to spend the day together out in Paris. I have a few errands that I need to run. I want to go to the bookstore. I have a few books that I want to pick up. Just a few different things that I need to do today and I thought I would take you along with me and show you just what it's like a day in my life in Paris. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around. As you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Paris. This is probably the best weather that we've had so far this year. It's about 70 degrees, I think, which is amazing, perfect weather. This is my favorite weather when it's like 70 degrees and sunny. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, it just looks absolutely beautiful today. I'm so happy. I apologize if it's a little bit loud. I'm in right in the center of Paris where there's a lot of traffic. So I apologize. I hope that you can hear me okay. would do today is pop over to Shakespeare and Company. If you ever come to Paris, you absolutely have to go to Shakespeare and Company. It's it's the most iconic English bookstore here in Paris. You absolutely have to go. Unfortunately, recently they've been having a really long line to get in. Ever since COVID, they started restricting how many people can go in at one time, but it's worth the wait. I definitely recommend it. So I thought we would pop over there because there's a few books that I want to pick up and hopefully they have those. So let's go over to Shakespeare and Company. Actually, Shakespeare and Company is right across the river from Notre Dame, so I thought I would come over and show you the little beauty, Notre Dame. She's coming back together after all this construction, after the big fire. Yeah, she looks absolutely beautiful in this thing today. They've actually started taking down a lot of the scaffolding because the Olympics are coming up and so they're really trying to finish all the construction before the Olympics. So yeah, it's nice to see her not so covered in scaffolding anymore. Okay, we're coming up on Shakespeare and Company and it looks like the line is not bad at all today. I'm so happy.
Um, if it's kind of it's fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's here. No, it's okay. Well. okay, okay. If you go straight back there, there's a bunch of people. Oh. You're welcome. Right, guys i just got out of shakespeare and company and i'm so happy i found exactly the books that i was looking for if you watched my last vlog you'll know that i said that if kairos was shortlisted for the international booker i said that i was going to read it so i picked up a copy of that i'm really excited to read that and also in my last vlog when i went to galignani i found a copy of fruit of the dead which sounded really interesting and the cover was absolutely beautiful and i really regretted not buying it and i found a copy at shakespeare so i got that as well and I also got a copy of The Extinction of Irene Ray, I think is the title, and it's about a bunch of translators and a bunch of trouble that they get up to. And I've heard really good things about it, and I think it'd be really interesting to read about a bunch of translators getting into trouble. I don't know, and it's had really good reviews so far. So those are the three books that I picked up. I'm really excited that they had everything that I was looking for. If you have read any of those three books, definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'm sorry if it's super loud, but I'm literally, literally right in the middle of Paris. So it's, like, it's exactly at the center of Paris. So there's a bunch of traffic. So really sorry about that. I think what we're going to do next now that we have our books in tow is go have some lunch. I think what I want to do is go to the Great Canadian because it's right by Shakespeare and Company and get some poutine. If you know poutine, if you're Canadian or if you've had poutine before, if you've gone to Canada before and have had poutine, you know what I mean. It's so good. So I always like to go over to the Great Canadian and get some poutine when I'm over here right in the center of Paris, right by Notre Dame. You can see her again. So yeah, let's go have some lunch. It's really crazy to me how busy Shakespeare and Company is these days. Like it never used to be that busy. Like back in, I don't know. 2016, 2017, it really wasn't that busy. And like I said before, you never had to wait outside to go in. So it's just become a really big tourist attraction. And actually I was pretty happy because the line, like I said, was not so bad today. So that was great. We didn't have to wait too long to get inside, but normally it's a super long line. So if you ever come, just be <laughs> prepared to wait in line. While we're walking, I thought I would talk about these little shops over here along the edge of the Seine. They're called the Bouquinistes, and they're a really historical thing about Paris. They've been here for so long, hundreds of years. And for the Olympics, they're talking about how they're going to kick all these people out. Like they need to remove their boxes because it's a security risk for the Olympics. 
and they're all getting really upset about it because obviously they, they need to make money, right? This is their livelihood. And so they don't want to take the boxes down because that's going to be an opportunity for them to make money, obviously, during the Olympics, a lot of money. So it's going to be interesting what ends up happening with that because they're really fighting it. As you can see, they're just so cute. They have so many different books, different posters. I've gotten lots of posters from here over the years and a couple of like antique French books. Which is really fun. I would definitely recommend if you're ever in Paris to come check out the Bouquinis. It's a historical thing, you know, you have to come see the Bouquinis. They've been here for so long. Speaking of the Olympics, people are supposed to be swimming in this water in like two months. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Personally, I wouldn't want to be swimming in this, but we'll see. All right, hopefully it's not going to be too loud to give you a little reading update. I'm right next to the road with a bunch of traffic, but we'll try. So this morning I started the audiobook for The Art of Magical Overthinking, I think is the title, by Amanda Montel, who wrote Cultish, which I read a couple years ago whenever that came out. And I still want to read Word Slut, but I really enjoyed Cultish, so I was looking forward to reading this new book of hers. It just came out the other day, so I started the audiobook this morning, and I'm really enjoying it so far. She reads it herself, which I always like when the author reads their own book. It's actually a really short audiobook. I mean, I'm listening to it on 1.5 speed, and at that rate, my app is telling me that it'll be done in like four hours, so I've already read like 45 minutes of it, so it's going to go really quickly. But anyway, I just wanted to give you a little reading update. So as you can see, Notre Dame is right there and the Great Canadian right here. All right, well, I wanted to go to the Great Canadian to get some poutine for lunch, but apparently they've changed their hours and they're closed right now. And I don't have the patience to sit around and wait for them to open in a half an hour. So uh, mixing the Great Canadian, we'll find something else to eat. But I thought next we'd run a few errands that I need to run um, over by the Opera House. So we'll head over there. I'll tell you what, when the weather gets nice, Parisians come out of the fucking woodwork. They all end up on a restaurant terrace. They're ready to soak up the sun. And we've waited a long time for perfect weather like this, so everybody's out enjoying it today, which is really nice to see. I just love seeing everybody out on the terrace all the time, enjoying this beautiful weather. It's so nice out. is under construction right now. You literally can't see anything of the face of the opera building right now. <laughs> like the, the part that you can see is just a poster to make it look like you can see part of the opera. It's not actually visible. Literally everything's under construction right now for the Olympics.
by Sena Azar train station because there's a little mall and I'm going to go to a store called Sostering Pen because they have a lot of really cheap picture frames and I'm going to get a few because I've been building up a gallery wall in my kitchen with a lot of art that I've been collecting and I need a few more picture frames to completely fill up the wall so I need to get some more picture frames so let's go do that. I'm not gonna lie I'm really warm right now because of how warm it is outside we're walking around and everything I'm like almost sweating basically that's how warm it is so I mean I'm not complaining I've been waiting for nice weather but uh, I don't miss sweating. <laughs> most about living in the U.S. is that when you go shopping you can put all your stuff in your car and you don't have to carry it around when you go looking for other stuff. Uh, meanwhile in Paris you just have to carry everything with you and then your back hurts and your shoulder hurts depending on how much you buy but it is a good way of preventing yourself from buying too much because if you can't carry it don't buy it. So anyway, all that to say, I did get the picture frames that I needed from Soul Screen Pen, except now I'm heading to Ikea because of course there's a size frame that I need that only Ikea has. So uh, we're gonna make our way to the Paris Ikea and hopefully they have some of these frames in stock that I need. this vlog i hope that you enjoyed it was short but sweet but hopefully you enjoyed yourself let me know if you did let me know other things that you'd like to see in my future paris vlogs i would love to hear from you and i'll talk to you again next time bye